we wake Hear the birds and see the sun So today's video will feature part two of the healthy habits that we talked about a couple weeks ago I think now or last week and today in particular we'll talk about healthy habits when it comes to other people. The first healthy habit concerning other people is simply listening. You know, today we all want to be heard and you know, it can be really difficult sometimes to focus on what other people have to say, listening to how someone feels without judging. But we don't know why someone does it the way, why someone chooses the, to do the things that they do. Um, and sometimes, you know, maybe it doesn't make sense. So for example, like addiction, doesn't make sense um, to people, to someone who doesn't struggle with maybe like addiction, um, whereas it would make sense to someone who does, you know, we can't judge other people based on their actions. And the Bible says that we are not to judge the person you can judge the sin and say, yes, this is a sin, this is not a sin, etc. But judging the person, we shouldn't do that. So listening wholeheartedly without judgment, just listening to someone and not only listening, but following up and asking more details about what they're saying. It makes them feel valued. Like you care about what they have to say. And I don't know. I feel like this is something that I really enjoy doing. I like listening to people. So James 1.19 says, we should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to get angry. And so listening sometimes can help to avoid certain conflicts. It can help to prevent anger and um, listening is such a key tool. And with listening, you know, maybe you have a friend that's sharing something with you and this is going to bring me really nicely to my next point. And I've said this so many times on my channel, so I'm sorry, but this is a healthy habit that I had to learn and I incorporated and that is gossiping. And you know, maybe I've said it a million times on my channel, but it's okay to hear something in the word over and over because we can all use a reminder to not gossip. And why I say it ties in is because maybe your friend has shared something with you that's super personal. And whenever someone shares something with me that's very personal, I take that with the highest respect. And I think, you know, they trust me with this and I'm not going to share that with anyone else. And so be mindful of that. But also if someone has done something um, that is maybe not, you know, what you wanted them to do or whatever. Maybe they hurt you. Um, you don't have to gossip about them. And just in case you weren't aware, you know, venting about someone is the same. <laughs> it's gossiping. Gossip betrays the confidence, but a trustworthy person keeps a secret. So that's exactly what I was saying. And this was something that I definitely struggled with, but I didn't even realize that I was struggling with it. I would do this a lot, not knowing that it was such a detrimental thing to my personal growth. And so now if someone's saying something about someone else, you know, it can be a little bit awkward to say, I don't want to gossip, but you can just, you know, not comment and change the subject. <laughs> you know, there's so many ways around it. Um, so yeah, I don't want to keep saying the same thing over and over. But again, for me, at least I'm not perfect. And even though I'm talking about all these healthy habits, I'm not perfect. Sometimes I do this, you know, sometimes I don't listen. Sometimes I, I still gossip. Um, does it happen a lot? No, but I am human and I don't want to make it seem like I don't struggle. I'm just saying these are things that I strive to really hard, especially to avoid and keep out of my life and or practice, depending on which one I'm talking about. The next one is gratitude. And again, I know I say this a lot. These are all things that I say a lot, but it's because I try to practice it a lot. And the scripture I'm actually going to use for this is Philippians 4, 6.
So the reason why I picked this one is because, um, you know, the Bible here is talking about being anxious, but if we are thankful, um, we can present our requests to God. And, you know, being thankful, it really looks at the things that God has already provided us with. It's looked at the things that he's already brought us through. And if we are thankful and we remember the things that God has done for us, we can keep moving forward with him. And Paul is talking here and just telling us that, you know, it says every situation. So with every situation by prayer and petition and prayer was one of the things that I talked about in my first video as a healthy habit with Thanksgiving, present your request to God. So if you feel like maybe you've been told that you're a negative person or maybe you know already that you're a negative person, being grateful can help to hone in on that positivity. And it's so easy to kind of, you know, if you think about a situation, thinking about all the negative points, well, you know, this won't go right or that won't go right or that won't work because blah, blah, blah. And it's important to remember why it will work and what has God done for you and just being positive in general. I think gratitude and positivity go hand in hand. So, yeah, that's a really good habit that you can try to incorporate if not, you know, if you haven't been doing it already. And those are just a few of healthy habits. I know they're not as, I don't know, new and fresh, <laughs> but I really and honestly and truly believe that these things have helped me not only in my walk with Christ, but also just being with other people. Another one that I forgot to add, actually, let's go ahead and add it right now, is avoiding. And actually, avoiding offense is something that the Bible says that in the last days, you know, people will be offended and everyone is offended today. You can't say anything without offending someone. Do not take to heart all the things that people say, lest you hear your servant cursing you. Your heart knows that many times you yourself have cursed others. So if someone says something to offend you, this scripture is saying, you know, how many times have you done something to offend someone else? You know, don't take it to heart. And this also takes into the principle of grace. God for, has forgiven us for so much. And how dare we not forgive someone else or, you know, just overlook offense. Um, and this could really go into deeper i may do another video just more into this and more so into what the things that we say because oftentimes we say things that we know will trigger someone else to say something and then we'll get offended you know why if you know someone's going to get upset if you say something or if you say a certain thing or the way you say it sometimes then why would you say it you do you want to trigger that kind of response for them because then when you get that response and sometimes they say something that offends you and you're just like well i don't know why they're acting like this you know, it's because of the things that you're saying to them that's causing them to say things to you. Now, I'm not saying either person is right, and I hope I'm even making sense right now. All I'm saying is that be careful of the things that you say to not trigger unnecessary conflict because that can just lead to offense. That's all I'm trying to say. So, yeah, I think I'll actually do a more in-depth video on that, but that's just a brief uh, overview. So that was it for this video. I'm probably going to doodle down here. Um, but let me know what you learned. You can also use this area to just journal, you know, things that you want to change, maybe set some goals to try to develop some healthy habits. But yeah, like I said, let me know what you learned. I post a new Bible study video every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I can't wait to study the Bible with you again. Bye. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Life's crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright